Hello, let's place some dominoes. It's time for pips. We'll start with the easy puzzle as usual. Oh, <laughs> funny one today. Let's see. So the, well, the one, there's only one possibility. So that goes there. Um, and then the five, there's only one possibility. So that goes there. Now we need three of something. So we'll need to double the two. And then the two bridges into the less than five, which is a four. And that's that. Straightforward as it gets. All right, we'll try the medium. Um, right, so the 10 needs a six, four, or a double five. And it'll be a single domino. And we, we have both of those. We have the double five and we have the six, four. So that also means the four points into the inequivalence region, which isn't hugely helpful. What could be more helpful is one possibly pointing into the five or the double, or I think even more usefully, the six pointing into the equivalence region, which also means the 10 can't be a six, four because we're using the only possibility to achieve that. So this could point in either of those two directions, but what it definitely means is that double five goes here. That is for sure. And that means we need four fours in the equivalence region, including the one we already have. So uh, we'll need a double four one way or the other. It'll either be up top here or here or here. I don't know which yet. And actually we still need two more fours, but we have more than that. No, sorry, we need three fours in total. But we do actually, we do still have more than that. Um, do we have, how many possibilities do we have for the inequivalence region? We've got zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we, we do have six possibilities for that. So we're, I was wondering, maybe there are exactly five different counts in there, but no, it's not, not the case. Okay, what about this one? If the one points down as opposed to across, well, it could be a four or a five. Actually, it couldn't be a five because if it pointed down into a, f no, it could be actually. I was going to say, because then, no, it couldn't, no, it couldn't, because then we'd need a double five here, which we don't have. Okay, so if the one points down, it is a four. Does that work or does that break for some reason? Actually, it, it could work because then we could have a five, four here. And then we'd need three more fours, which we have. This could be correct. This could be correct. And then at this point, it wouldn't matter which fours point where, because they're all pointing into an inequivalence region. So any of them could be pointing in here, which I guess is the case. It was. All right, well, there we go. Let's try the hard puzzle. Oh, it's a Rodolfo puzzle. All right, what do we have here? We need four zeros, and we've got a double zero and two singles. So that is helpful. And we have two more four-sized equivalence regions. What do those comprise? Sixes are sufficient. Twos are sufficient. Is it just sixes and twos? I think it might, might be. I think they might need to be sixes and twos that fill the other, the four sized equivalence regions. Um, do we have doubles of any of those? I don't think, oh no, we, have, we do have double sixes. Because I was saying if we didn't, then all of then these, these little less than and greater thans down here would all have to point up into there. But they don't necessarily all need to because we could put, say, a double six here in theory. And then we can put, just as an example, we could put six five here and then six two here. And then we'd need less than three and less than four, which is definitely achievable. So that's all fine. Okay, what about the zero? Um... Does this go here? Does it go here? Does it matter? Well, it matters a bit. If we put this here, it means this four-sized equivalence region needs a doubled domino. So it would have to be the doubled six. And then that would make this one down, this four-sized equivalence region of twos, that would make it slightly more constrained now. Um, because, so we can put, for instance, six, two here, six, five here, because now they'd have to be pointing, you know, in different places. Um, the less than three would have to point to the less than four still in this particular configuration. So it could be something like two, three. I'm, I'm kind of just taking stabs at this. I'm not sure if any of this is, is good, good thinking. And then we do need a two that goes to a greater than four, which we don't, which we don't have. So, th so this doesn't work, but that's fine. I was just kind of messing around to see what, what the limits are. So what, um, that was all based on this zero being there, which obviously there's no reason it needs to be that. What about the, the two? 
I think the two needs to be double one because we only have exactly enough zeros for one of the four sized equivalence regions. And we don't have a single domino that's double one, so it would need to be pointing to things. We also have this, equi this two sized equivalence region, which won't be sixes or twos because those are spoken for. Um, what else do we have? Two of threes and fives, I guess. I mean, we have a three, one, and a five, one, so that's not that's not hugely helpful, right? Okay, I'm not quite sure how to make progress with this. I must admit. What about if the twos if the two zeros point over into the equivalence region, then the equivalence region could would. I think it would have to be twos. So then we'd have, wait, no, that only one of those would work because we don't double um, dominoes. Oh, interesting. So does that mean that the zero, I think what that means is if that were there, in other words, we could never do this. We could never do this because then we need another zero too. So if the zero bridges to the equivalence region, it would need to be this, which would then require a double zero here, because again, we can't bridge that once more. So then we need the two connecting to a one. I mean, this would be forced based on that first assumption. And then our other zero would go here because it's the only one left. Then, is this helpful? I can't really tell. Then we have two more zeros, one of which goes across. I mean, they could in theory both go across. No, actually they couldn't, because then we wouldn't have enough sixes. So actually this would need to go this would need to go here. This might be this might be how to do it. Then this two would need to go here. Then we'd need another six pointing down here, which would have to be this one. Then the only way to finish the six would be that. Is this right? I can't really tell if I'm leading myself down the garden path here, but it feels correct so far. Three, one, three, four. Greater than four is five. No, this is wrong. This is wrong. We don't have another four, so I couldn't put this there. Oh, no, 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 we do. Oh, no, 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 yeah, okay, I made a bad assumption up there. I made a bad assumption. So th this does work then, because then, yeah, okay, this is what I was hoping would happen, and I just made a poor, I just didn't observe properly. There we go. Okay, that, that all worked out. Okay, there might have been a more efficient way to solve that. I'm sure there was. But um, we got there in the end. And those, um, those were the pips. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.